don't know anything about Amy Fenton. And he there's a screenshot going around social media which is used to propel the conspiracy theory of a cover-up in the Ellie Williams case. It features comments by a couple of comments by Mo Rami. He's alleged to be one of the accused uh, by folks on social media. There's five named people who were accused by Ellie Williams according to her stepfather Ronnie, Ronnie Johnston. Three are English and two are Asian. Mo Rami's apparently one of those according to social media folk. Be very wary of people who are using this screenshot as it's not only used to prop up the cover-up conspiracy theory but it's being used in a campaign of hatred against a local journalist Amy Fenton. For those who are gullible and emotional remember just this week a 19 year old was cautioned for sending malicious communications to Amy Fenton. We've done a video on the abuse Amy Fenton has received and we've outlined how utterly unfair it's been that hate campaign that she's going through right now. Go and watch that video and read the article on Dram Politics about it before you decide to go away and troll Amy Fenton as it may just keep you from being duped into a hate campaign against her, an unfair hate campaign against her and ultimately it may just keep you out of trouble with the police. These are Mo Ramit's comments. If you don't believe me we can ask Amy Fenton to do a poll in the mail. She'll do anything as I have the paper in my pocket. Laughing emoji at the end. The other comment. I got all of it in my pocket. The police, media, the lot. Call me Pablo Escobar. So it looks like Mo Rami, a local in Barrow, was being sarcastic in claiming he's got the local journalists and the police in his pocket. It looks like it's an attempt to humour the conspiracy theorists. Of course, as Amy Fenton stated, this is awfully foolish on his part. It's being taken literally and as fact by some of the conspiracy theorists out there. It's just further cementing their conspiracy in the mines. Yeah, my Barrow, because I bore up his address and he's, he's been arrested. And I've been arrested. Well, I'm about to be uh, arrested. Uh, please don't take, take this public escobar. I think I've got the police in my pocket. Uh, uh, you don't think this is because of me, Tommy, please. Uh, there is irony here, a lot of irony. The conspiracy theorists will not believe him regarding the grooming allegations, his protests and his uh, claims of innocence. They won't believe that, but they will believe him when he's being sarcastic with them. That's a uh, conspiracy theorist mindset. It's cognitive bias. Miss Fenton, she did respond to the claim that she's in uh, Mo Rami's pocket by saying, What a load of nonsense. Clearly these idiots don't understand the concept of sarcasm. I've written three stories in 12 years about Mo, but I've never even met him in person. Did you notice that? She said she has never met him in person. This is handy as it scuppers the notion that she's in a relationship with him. So, I'm in Barrow. Actually, so I'm, at, I'm at now, I've gone to Mo, Mo Rami's. Um, he's another name that's been banded about the town. I'm Barrow. Looks like Mr. Robinson has met Mo Rami more than Amy Fenton has. Not only this, Mr. Mr. Robinson was sympathetic to at least one of the accused, a man called Jordan. So we're about to visit a guy who accusations were made that he raped Delhi. He ended up being remanded, spent months and months in jail, and then he was cleared for a lack of evidence. I've just met that man, I feel for him so badly. You can't have false allegations of rape against a man. That would destroy his life. My head's totally fried on this. Are we going to say Mr. Robinson is in a relationship with these guys and these guys have got him in their back pocket? Keeping in mind, Robinson has recently let slip that he does not believe Ellie Williams's claims concerning grooming gangs. Up, I was up north um, covering a rape story for a, for a girl. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's going to surprise a lot of people, this rape story. There's a massive campaign called Justice for Ellie, a girl who says she's been raped by lots of Muslim gangs. Mm -hmm. um, 
it's not actually the way I think it, the story goes, but I was investigating that. I'd been, a, someone spat in my face. 